In this segment, we are going to look at the basic accounting equation. The entire accounting system is based on this underlying equation. This equation is a company's total assets will always equal the total liabilities plus the owner's equity. Essentially what this equation says is that claims against the organization must always equal the organization's assets. The claims against the organization are either from creditors for amounts owed, such as liabilities, or the owner's or stockholder's claims on assets that would remain after all creditors are satisfied. So let's look at each of those elements of the equation individually. Assets. Assets are the resources that are owned or controlled by a company, such as cash. Everybody knows what cash is. Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable are amounts that the company is owed by others. For example, when a sale is made to a customer on credit, the customer owes the company for those amounts. Store supplies. Supplies are assets that the company will use to help it operate. Notes receivable are similar to accounts receivable, except notes receivable have an underlying promissory note stating that whoever owes the amounts to the company will not only pay the amount owed, but they will also pay a rate of interest. Vehicles, equipment, land, and building. These are all assets or resources that are owned by the company that are used to help it operate. Jumping to the other side of the equation, we can see the liabilities or creditors claim on the assets of the company. Those claims can represent accounts payable, or if the company purchases something on credit, the company must pay for that purchase at some point in the future. Notes payable are similar to accounts payable. However, notes payable reflect an amount the company owes that they must pay in the future, but there is a promissory note that underwrites those notes stating that they will not only pay the amounts owed, but they will also pay a stated rate of interest. Taxes payable. Maybe the company has some unpaid taxes for either state taxes or federal taxes or some other type of tax. And wages payable. Maybe employees have earned wages for which they have not yet been paid. These are some basic types of liabilities that reflect creditors' claims on assets. And finally, equity. Equity represents the owner's claim on the assets. Essentially what it means is if the company were to use all of its assets to pay off its creditors, its liabilities, anything remaining would belong to the owners. And equity is impacted by three primary things. The first is contributed capital, or how much owners have invested into the company, how much they have contributed into the company. Then the amount of earnings that are retained within the company reflect the amount of profits that the company has earned that they have not yet paid out to the form of dividends to the owners. Dividends will cause owner's equity to decrease. So the value of the company to owners or the amount of assets remaining after liabilities are paid is impacted by how much owners have invested, the amount of profits or earnings that the company has retained, less any dividends or amounts of those profits that have been paid to owners in the form of dividends. Looking at the expanded accounting equation, we can see that the company's assets equal its liabilities plus equity. And equity is comprised of contributed capital, or amounts that owners have invested into the company, profits, revenues, minus expenses, less any dividends that have been paid, which together combine to make retained earnings. So equity is a combination of owner investments and earnings retained in the corporation.